Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today for an exciting unboxing video for you guys. I have the worst obsession with shopping. I shop all the time. Normally when I'm not supposed to be shopping, I'm always like window shopping or like online shopping, putting things into my cart, saving the cart for later, going back another time and taking things out. Like I'm the worst shopper. And most of my shopping trips, at least online shopping trips, happen when I'm in bed trying to go to sleep. I don't remember ordering a lot of products, but this box feels very, very heavy. This is a ColourPop haul. I honestly love ColourPop. You guys saw that in my collection video series when I showed you all my ColourPop eyeshadows. And while I clearly do not need any more eyeshadows, I could not help myself when I saw that ColourPop released pressed pigment eyeshadows. So I went on the ColourPop website one night when I was again trying to fall asleep and picked up eight of them. But this box feels like there's more than eight in here. So let's just see if I ordered some more things in my sleepy slumber. So I got my knife. Let's cut into this baby. The one thing I don't like about ColourPop is hopefully they didn't put me in my box. I wish they had like a comment section where you can request what not to put in your box. Oh, they did. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it. I have the biggest issue with foam. I don't like touching it. It makes me cringe. I don't know why, but whenever I look at foam, don't like it. I have the biggest issue with companies who use foam. Like, I appreciate that you're using it to protect my product. Like, that's amazing. I love you for that. But I wish it wasn't foam. Like, I wish there was an alternative to foam to put in these boxes to keep them safe. Because I honestly, I don't know if it's a very, like, subtle phobia I have against foam. But whenever I see foam, if I look at it, like, if I touch it, it makes me cringe. Like, I want to be sick. I just don't like foam. So let me just grab some gloves or a t-shirt or something and get this shit out of here. I was gonna go into my hair kit and get some rubber gloves out, but I was like, that's too extreme. So I just went into my sock drawer and pulled out a sock so I don't have to touch this nasty shit. I honestly hate it. Oh my god, even the sound of it just... Ugh. Anyways, so this is what we got in the box. We've got a lot of goodies. Again, I ordered a lot of their pressed pigments. I don't know about you guys, but I like to hang up their little personalized cards because a lot of what they have to say in these cards is so, so cute. Mine for today says our heart selfie. And the majority of the heart, it says you. Liquid lipstick, puppies, and pizza, XOXO, color pop. I think it's such a unique little touch to this company. Like, I don't know any other brands who do this. So to me, I just... I love ColourPop. All right, so what's making the box heavy is these two palettes. If you ordered four of these shadows, you got a palette to put them in. And of course I ordered eight of them, so I got two of the palettes, which makes me so excited because I was on Amazon looking at Z palettes and those things are expensive AF. Like, I don't mind, they're actually really good for travel, but still, like, still, girls, like, why do you look expensive? $18 for a little shit one, and I'm like, absolutely not. All right, so I'll go ahead and start with the two shadows I picked up that are from the Super Shock eyeshadow line. These are both on sale. I got one in the shade Lovely, which is a beautiful, like, peachy, light peachy color. Girl, why do you need the freaking jars of light to open this? This is what it looks like. It is the ultra metallic formula. I absolutely love this formula. It's so beautiful. I'll go ahead and swatch it right now. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That'd be a beautiful highlight too, girl. You need the jaws of life to open these damn jars. I don't know why. I also got this one in the shade Too Shy. This is a pressed pigment. Look how beautiful that looks in the light. That is a gorgeous pigment. I can't wait to swatch it. All right, so these are all the pressed shadows I got. I'm not gonna do swatches because I do want to take pictures for Instagram first. So you guys can see swatches of these on Instagram or on my Snapchat, which you guys, you know, I'm always on Snapchat. All right, so this first pressed shadow is in the shade Stay Golden. It's a beautiful, like almost a deep red rose color it's very very unique on the website it looked more red which is why i picked it up but this looks more on the rosy toned side like a more cool toned rose color the next one is in the shade backseat and it's a beautiful like deep teal color this one is in the shade take it slow this is a beautiful highlighter color this one is in the shade let me explain again another really really pretty potential highlighter this one is in the shade top notch this looks like a beautiful especially for smoky eyes a beautiful beautiful transition shade for more of the warm toned smoky eyes. I cannot wait to use this one in a future look very, very soon. This one is in the shade Come and Get It, and this one's very unique because I'm going to go ahead and just move this 
so you can see the shifts in color. Right there, it looks like more mauve -y, and then you do that, and it looks more peachy. It's a very unique shade. I'm very excited to use these. The darkest one out of all the ones I picked up is this one in the shade Goody Two Shoes. I don't know how to describe this color. It's like a plummy, gunmetal gray color. I don't know. It's so beautiful. Again, swatches will be on Instagram. And the last one I picked up is in the shade Liar Liar. Again, this is a beautiful potential highlighter, but it does have some more pinky tones, which you guys know I kind of stay away from when it comes to highlighters. But this one looks like a more toned down pinky shade, so this could be used beautifully as a highlighter. All right, guys, so that concludes this haul video. Once again, I did not want to swatch these until I got pictures of them without being swatched. Obviously, I kind of botched this one because I already swatched it for you guys, but I will have all swatches of every one of these shades on my Instagram and on Snapchat. If you don't have me on Snapchat, what are you doing? I'm always on there chit-chatting with all of you guys who message me. And I, will, like I said, will have full swatches if you want to have any questions answered about them. I will have those answered for you guys on there. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and start playing with these puppies because these look absolutely beautiful. So guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!